curriculum? A curriculum is what is taught in school. A set of subjects, a content, a program of studies, a set of materials, a sequence of courses, a set of performance objectives, and everything that goes within the school. However, like many concepts in education, there seems to be no established and common definition of a curriculum. From definitions of diverse point of views, a curriculum would be described as dynamic and ever-changing. As so, we refer curriculum as the total learning experience of the students under the guidance of a teacher that has seldom been described as a curricularist. A curricularist is a person who is involved in curriculum knowing, writing, planning, implementing, evaluating, innovating, and initiating a curriculum. This tells a teacher's vital role not just in the implementation of the curriculum, but also in the curriculum development. Now, what is a curriculum development? A curriculum development is a dynamic process involving many different people and procedure. This is a call for change leading to an alteration, modification, or improvement of current and existing conditions. Following a logical and linear step-by-step -step fashion that involves the phases of curriculum planning, curriculum designing, curriculum implementing, and curriculum evaluating. Curriculum development then is a step-by-step -step process used to create positive improvements exploring new discoveries roped into the education curricula. Anchored on a very solid foundation, curriculum development and the foundation upon which curriculum is based are educational philosophies, historical developments, psychological explanations, and societal influences, all interrelated to each other. Apart from this, before a teacher designs a curriculum connecting the fundamental concepts, Elements or components and ideas about the curriculum is of great importance. Now we can finally leap into the process of implementing the design curriculum. Curriculum implementation. This is where the teacher's action takes place and the most crucial process in curriculum development. This is where the success of curriculum rests in the hands of the implementer who is the teacher. We as future educators, especially in these challenging times, must realize resiliency and flexibility in order to attain in part quality and effective education amidst challenging factors. Curriculum is the heart of schooling. It plays a vital role in the teaching and learning process as it serves as a significant tool and guide in order to facilitate meaningful, valuable, and efficient learning process. Different types of curricula exist in a classroom setting or in school. Such type of curricula are recommended, written, taught, supported, assessed, learned, and hidden or implicit curriculum. These different curricula may not present at one time in every teacher's classroom, but it is important that as a pre-service teacher, we are aware or knowledgeable of all of it, that when we are exposed to it, we are able to distinguish and know how we are going to utilize and implement it in our own classroom. With the idea of different types of curriculum, teachers must then act as a curricularist. There are also different points of view about the curriculum which can either be traditional or progressive. Furthermore, there are three ways of approaching a curriculum. It can be defined as a content, a process, or an outcome. Curriculum is a dynamic process and there are always changes that occur that are intended for improvement. Thus, there are different processes for curriculum development such as curriculum planning, curriculum designing, 
curriculum implementing and curriculum evaluating. There are also models for curriculum development process from well-known curricularists like Ralph Tyler, Hilda Taba, Galen Saylor, and William Alexander. It is also important to note that curriculum development is anchored on a very solid foundations such as philosophical foundations, historical foundations, psychological foundations, and social foundations. Aside from understanding curriculum development, it is also important for a pre-service teacher to study and know about the fundamentals and approaches in curriculum designing, as well as implementing the design curriculum as a change process. Understanding and learning about curriculum is really necessary in teaching profession, and we teachers must become effective in implementing it. An effective education is defined by its curriculum. When a curriculum is well planned and been implemented effectively, surely a quality education will be made. In this subject, I learn a lot of things regarding of what is a curriculum, understanding its history, knowing some various ideas in crafting an effective curriculum, and the implementation process. We all know that what makes the education effective is by having a curriculum that knows the necessities of the students. A curriculum that caters the various needs of the students. A curriculum that fits to present educational contexts. Adaptive. Relevant. And engaging. In order to make an effective curriculum, these three factors should be incorporated in crafting a curriculum. Curriculum should be adaptive. It should be fit to the changing behavior of the students and the changing environment of education. Curriculum should be relevant. As the needs of the students changes, as the demands of the society to its future working force changes, the curriculum should be cater the present needs of the students. When the curriculum is relevant, it assures that learning is essential and timely. Lastly, curriculum should be engaging. We have learned the history of curriculum designs, from the traditional to a progressive ones, but we should know that curriculum needs engagement of the students and the teachers. As they are the primary actors in the field of education, their experiences and feedbacks can be used to further enhance the current curriculum that we have. The education has become the major key in human progress. It helps in molding the people to become a productive individuals as a member of the society. And as a pre-service teacher, it is my duty to gear myself with enough knowledge about curriculum design and implementation. In the future, I will be a teacher. A teacher that will educate my students. A teacher that is a catalyst of change. Thank you.